So in a recent video, we built a massive 4,500 watt solar array with $50 used panels. But this week I added some monocrystalline 200 watt panels. So now we have a combined 5,700 watt array. And we're gonna use it to charge my Tesla. And most YouTubers try to charge their Tesla with a 120 volt receptacle with solar, and that's pretty lame. It takes weeks on end to charge. So in this video, we're gonna do level two solar charging with a NEMA 1450. And this is my solar trailer. So inside are lithium iron phosphate batteries, 14 kilowatt hours, and some inverters. This is a pretty simple system. Down here we have the batteries, and up here we have two inverter chargers, or all-in-one systems. For this system, I'm using the LV6548 mainly as a solar charge controller because the max input voltage is 250 volts and it can handle 8,000 watts of solar. So all of the solar panels are connected here and this unit charges the batteries. And then the batteries are connected to a split phase output inverter. And they do not make this model anymore. They actually replaced it with the 6048, which does six kilowatts, which I'm kind of jealous that I don't have that. So we will only be able to charge the Tesla with 5,000 watts output. And what's nice about this inverter over the LV6548 is this has a split phase output at the terminals. So you have two hot leads, a neutral and a ground right at the terminal block. You do not have to put these in parallel. And then the AC output supplies a small panel and each leg from the inverter produces 22 amps and we have a 25 amp circuit breaker. And then we have a massive NEMA 1450 extension cable to a female adapter. And with this cable, you can charge pretty much any electric car on the market. But we need to ensure that we are getting 240 volts before I plug my charger in. Oh, I just heard it turn on and we have 240 volts. We have 120 volts from neutral to one leg and 120 volts across the other leg to neutral. Now we just need to hook it up, guys. I just need to plug it in. I always get nervous doing this because this thing's very expensive. And it turned on, so that's good. Before we plug this into the car, we need to change the charge rate. Right now it's set at 32 amps, but this system can only output 22 amps continuously. Oh, it's set at 22 amps, so let's plug it in. No way, guys, it's working. We're at 17 amps, 18 amps, 19, 22 amps. With the new upgrades I've added to the array, we should be able to get 114 miles every single day. If I charge every other day and I use the batteries, I get 170 miles per charge, which is plenty for me to drive around town for free. And this is a very cheap system, guys. $1,400 inverter, some $50 panels on the ground with like $50 worth of bricks. And you could even use a smaller battery for this system and just make a massive solar array. And you can charge a Tesla with this. I mean, how cool is that? If I put two of these inverters in parallel, I could actually have the full 32 amp output of this charger. But right now we're doing 17 miles per hour and we've already added a mile of range. And to charge to full will only take six hours and 15 minutes. I'm actually buying another Tesla right now, but they just delayed my shipment yesterday by four more months. I don't know what's going on at Tesla right now, but I'm gonna have a Model X and I'm gonna bring it back here and then I'm gonna charge this one in the garage still. But yeah, this is an actual usable system and I'm gonna run the air conditioner in my bedroom with it because I just have a lot of power now. I don't know what to do with it. I also bought a Bitcoin miner and I'm gonna make a video about that. But yeah, those things use a lot of power. My grid tie system is producing over 100 kilowatt hours a day. So I'm just gonna run Bitcoin miners in my garage and yeah, I'll make some money off of that. It'll be pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. I just added a NEMA 1450 cable and now I can charge electric cars. And of course the split phase output inverter. But I've already made like five to 10 videos on that thing. So I don't wanna bore you guys to death. But yeah, you can make a very powerful system that can charge electric cars. I could charge two electric cars with this system for very cheap. I mean, anybody could do this. You could actually connect this cable directly to the unit and the overcurrent protection on the inverter circuit could actually trip if anything were to go wrong with these conductors. Or you could put two in parallel and speed charge them. If you're charging every day though, you do not want to exceed the limit of the charger that it came with because it could, you know, increase the degradation rate. Also, I can run welders, uh, Bitcoin miners that are 240 volts, lots of other stuff with this NEMA 1450. It just makes it so easy and convenient. Also, this is a permit-free off-grid installation. Those panels on the ground do not require a permit. So technically, this is 100% legal and produces a ton of power. 
Anyways, just a quick little video, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.